we've we've had a question from a member in in Devon who's asking whether Natural England should have their wings clipped, um, and that rather than defer operate an appeal system around Natural England decisions on Triple SI's consent. DEFRA should actually be responsible for deciding the consent in the first instance. But I wonder more broadly whether you feel that Natural England are the right body to, to manage uh, these kind of environments that we're talking about on Dartmoor, or whether it's simply the, the methodology that they're using. You've certainly all, uh, David and Helen, both touched on, on evidence and data and the difference between Dartmoor and perhaps where some of that data and evidence is being used from further north in the country. So there seems to be a sort of a lack of evidence as to, to back up what some of the what some of the management is being asked to deliver. And I just wonder whether Natural England is the right body to to manage these environments and how you feel that might change or whether they just need to change and they are the right body. Mark, maybe I could uh, kick off on that one. To begin with, because I think David will probably have to be a little bit diplomatic about what he says here, given his role and uh, and and his forthcoming discussions with the Secretary of State. But um, I I think from the TFA's perspective that there is a real issue with Natural England's uh, performance in terms of the uh, management and improvement of the protected landscape on Dartmoor. We've had thirty years of agri environment schemes on Dartmoor. Uh, managed by Natural England, or certainly advised by Natural England and its predecessor bodies. And here we are today talking about an environment that hasn't improved to the extent we wanted to have improved, and yet we've thrown lots of public money at it. And I think the problem here is that the approach that's been taken to date has not been the right approach because we've been too much focused on reducing livestock numbers rather than dealing with the wider panoply of issues in play, including getting better grazing management, greater shepherding across the piece. Um, and I think actually um, the predecessor Secretary of State, George Eustace, had it right that these are decisions that DEFRA ministers should be taking. And David sort of alluded to this in his report, that the governance structure within which these decisions are made and policies are decided need to be uh, given back to ministers and that's where England can provide advice to ministers about how these things are, 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 are taken forward. But ultimately, it's a decision for ministers to decide how these schemes are developed and, and, and go forward. So to that extent, I do think that Natural England probably needs to have its wings clipped and become the advisor that it was intended to be, rather than the judge during and executioner that it has been. And without any, ostensibly any massive benefit for the environment. So I, I think there is work to be done there. Thanks, George. David, do you want to make a diplomatic comment? Well, I, I mean, I, th I think it's not, uh, it's quite difficult because Natural England are expected to report on the uh, outcomes. They're, they're expected to be the guardians of the triple SIs. They aren't set up to be somebody who actually also has to uh, make sure that all the ways of dealing with it are the best that they possibly are, because they don't have that influence. Um, they um, and and so I think they have a, a bit of a challenge. I think I think it's all quite difficult, and 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 uh, the ways in which condition assessments have been done, you've know, been done like this for quite a while, and uh, and everyone's got into the pattern of doing it in a particular way. Um, as we focus more and more on on judging them by the condition of triple SIs, I would have thought they would want to have some changes to the way the whole system works, um, because otherwise they are going to be, you know, always marked up to fail. Um, because you know, the, you know, how what is the condition of triple SIs right across the country? It's not as good as it should be, and there are so many other factors in play here. So, so um, someone's got to do this role. I don't think that I think the danger can be that DEFRA judge uh, and executioner um, instead of Natural England. If if there is no, it's quite good to have an alternative appeal system. If something's not working in one place, have somebody else look at it. There's a difficult balance, and you're right, George, to say that it is really ministers that have to decide how this should work best. But I personally would be disappointed 
if we end up all of this without looking at the process around triple SIs and how they actually are dealt with and monitored and scored and who takes the decision because I, I just think it's right for a bit more discussion as indeed George used this, this paper had the green paper that he produced. Thanks, thanks David. Helen, did you want to add anything on the, on the role of Natural England of what, where they fit in, if you like, in this maybe? I'm just concerned as a commoner and grazier that they've got a very narrow view of what they're looking at and we need a much wider view because they might say one thing and they'll destroy something else. And that is where we have to be able to have discussion and be valued. Farmers need to feel valued for their discussion. And also we really need to celebrate achievement that is never done within Commons, Dartmoor, Natural England. We need to celebrate when we get it right and learn. I don't think we're learning from the mistakes of the last 30 years and we need to. We need to, to protect in the next 50 or 100 years of our triple SIs and what we can say with climate change and everything else that's going on. Mark, yeah. could I just, could I just yeah, say... Yeah, absolutely, David, yeah. Could I just say well done to Helen because I think saying that about celebrating what works um, and actually people feeling proud of what they've actually done that's worked well, farmers, uh, uh, you know, doing something that really does deliver for the country and for the environment and for yeah as well as their own grazing so so i think i think that's right and i think the other point that helen was making was that you know, we need to be able to discuss these things that was the point of the of the group you know a place to discuss these things that is safe where no one's going to you know uh, fine you or or, or or you know attack you for what you have to say I, I think that that's what we need and that can only happen if you have transparency and all the stuff out on the table for everybody to see